Not the craziest night tonight for news in the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. But let me move the microphone a little bit right here. But what we're hearing is 1.48 in the morning. And what we're hearing right now is that Andrew Wiggins and Chris Paul are reportedly available for trade. What we're also hearing from The Athletic is Andrew Wiggins is only being... The only offers they're receiving for Andrew Wiggins is player for player trades and no picks involved. So that might make it a little tough for the, the Warriors to want to move him, especially with how much of a bargain his deal is. So that's just something to keep in mind. But Shamshrania is reporting that the Warriors, obviously they won tonight, but at the time of when he reported this, they were 12th in the standing. And they're taking calls on um, Wiggins and Paul, and they would even consider trading Clay Thompson. That's Sham Sharania saying that. Now, the whole thing is, is that at this point, the Warriors seem to have everyone untouchable except for Steph Curry, Kaminga, and Brandon Podzemski, as they wouldn't want to trade those three players and probably trace Jackson Davis. But yeah what do, what do we think here i think wiggins is drawing interest probably from the pacers we've heard that one for a while and he just kind of fits the profile of what they would want there chris paul i could see i don't think the warriors are desperate enough to take on zach levine And I don't know if Jeremy Grant's the guy that they want, but I could see Malcolm Brogdon and Robert Williams in a package if they want to go long term. I think another another place that they could go with that is, yeah, I think that I think they would want to split Chris Paul into multiple contracts that they can, you know, down the road. Like I, I could see them calling up the Toronto Raptors and being like, all right, Gary Trent, Otto Porter, or like. Auto Porter, Thad Young, Chris Boucher for, you know, something along that lines or Gary Trent and Chris Boucher. Just, I think for Chris Paul, that makes sense if they were going after some sort of deal like that. Because like, let's be honest, this is a, a team that I think would benefit tremendously from getting themselves. I feel like multiple contracts for Chris Paul. Now, if we're going back to the Andrew Wiggins, I think that'd be around Buddy Heald. Unless, yeah, Buddy Heald and maybe like Jalen Smith. I just don't see anything else being really offered there. But, that, I mean, that's just me right here. So, it, it just gets difficult when you look at it. Is there a deal that's like really worthy for them to go out and get? It, it, it becomes a bit difficult to look at the situation and be like, yeah, they should spend x y and z amount of money on so and so because they need to expand the career or the the twilight years of curry so i think just by like you know dilly yelling being it's not doing anyone any favors Clay Thompson at this point, I the only deal I could see them going for is like Gordon Hayward. I don't know anybody else that they really could get off that money. So I, I do think it's an interesting situation. But yeah, time will tell what's gonna happen there. And I think it's not a they just need to expect they need to extend the championship window that they have with Curry. And Draymond Green's on a cheap deal, and he's still a good defensive player. Fill out the rest of the roster. Oh, there's still a chance they'd have success.